You have so much going on, it's crazy. I know, I have so much going on, that is true. I haven't talked about this to you guys yet, but I might be doing this interview with this woman named Tommy Laren. Have you guys heard of her? No. Yeah. You have heard of her? Yeah, I know her, I know You've her. You've heard of her? Very conservative. She's a very conservative That's, political uh... character, and she said some very bad things and hurtful things about transgender people regarding the bathroom bill. I haven't decided if I want to do the Tommy Laren show because I'm not going to lie, she is intimidating. I want to talk to her. <laughs> You're going to give her a piece of your mind? Let, let's just watch this video first. Call me old-fashioned, but I still believe the thing in your pants really isn't up for a negotiation. It's not really the drag queens they're worried about in North Carolina. It's the creeps that will use it to self-identify as whatever gender will get them closer to their victims. To me, Tommy Laren is someone with a lot of tenacity and excitement, but not in a good way because it's coupled with a very toxic view, which hurts a lot of people. She thinks that people are going to harm people, but there's never been a case of that there's in America. There's never been a case. The worst part about it is she is a self-righteous woman who feels like she's saving America by oppressing this group of people that does nothing wrong. Like, I've come out almost three years ago. In that three years, I've not used one public restroom. Really? And I just, I can't, even if there's one girl in the restroom. I honestly scared they'll attack me. I don't think Tommy knows all the consequences of the transgender bathroom bill. I don't think she knows how it's gonna hurt individual trans people like me. I'm not sure if I want to do it or not, though, because obviously Tommy is clearly aggressive, as you guys saw in the video, and I don't want to be bickering back and forth because nowadays in debates, it's basically whoever's the louder one is the winner. Well, like, you've done this before. If you at least change a couple people's viewpoints, it's going to make a difference, and slowly people are going to start changing. You know, you change one person, they change two people. It's just a ripple effect. Hearing my friends pumped up about the prospect of me going on Tommy Laren's show really does sway me. I feel like this could be the right thing to do, and having their support is definitely making me feel more confident.